side. Lost one down the sideline. Caught. Touchdown, Carolina. He's under pressure. And they sack him all the way back at the five-yard line. Oh, what a way to light it up here at Williamsburg Stadium. Bentley takes a quick look over. Let's see what he does. He fakes it. He goes fade route at the 15 and caught the 10. Josh Smith into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Shy Smith from 36 yards out. Shy wide open, soft ends again, and walks into the end zone. And Bentley perfect on that one. He's got the Gamecocks up. 21-13 with 5.28 to go. Welcome in. The Gamecocks get their sixth win of the season on homecoming to become bowl eligible for the second year in a row by defeating Vanderbilt 34-27. Coach, congratulations. Another SEC Eastern Division win. They're always good. <laughs> They're really proud of our football team. We gutted it out. We made a stop at the end defensively, and 118 on the clock, our offense gets a first down, so we don't have to go back on the field defensively or punt the ball back to Vanderbilt. And they certainly, with the timeouts they had left, if we don't get the first down, that's what's going to happen. So, guys gutted it out. Proud of our guys. There were so many tough plays uh, in this ball game. Shermer completing passes in tight coverage. A lot of penalties on both sides of the ball game. This was kind of a chippy game. Did you see that coming in any way? No, but it, it is what it is. He'd made some very good throws. Right. We didn't get enough pressure on the passer. They've only been sacked 10 times this year. I want to credit some of that to them. Schematically, right. they do a really nice job of getting the ball out quick. And when they do get some longer down the field routes, they do a great job of getting in seven and eight man protection. So it's hard to get there. But at the end of the day, our guys gutted it out and, and got a win. Had some guys back on the roster this week on a Palmetto Health Injury Report, but Coach, you had some guys hurt in this ball game as well. Well, you know, Dennis Wong was going to be fine. We thought he might have an issue with his foot, but he's going to be fine. Sherrod Green did not play the game. He's got a deep thigh bruise. He will be back for Georgia. Uh, Dennis Daly got nicked up a little bit. He's going to be fine as far as his elbow is concerned. So I think we've come out of it pretty good. Tough plays and lots of highlights. We'll have much more to come on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp. Coach and the Gamecocks get their fourth conference win of the season. That hadn't happened since 2013. We'll be back. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. Okay, it's time to belly up to the bar because it's the last call to save big on 2017 Ford F-Series. Cash in on the truck that hauls the most and has more efficiency at the pump with an EcoBoost engine and a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body. Time to get in on America's best-selling trucks 40 years running. Because you snooze, you lose, pal. Get 10,837 total savings on a 2017 F-150. Plus, first responders get an additional 1,000 at your Carolina Ford dealer. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build. Even if challenging times get in their way, when you need us most, we're there and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work.
Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back. The Gamecocks get a W. That's what counts. Now it's time for our keys to the game. Brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Coach, you said, as usual, you want to try to stop the run. Ralph Webb went out of the ball game pretty early on. Blasting game, not nearly as effective. I think they had like 41 yards in the first drive, but then they're afterwards 60 for the rest of the ball game. Tell us what about a couple of keys were today. They hit a couple things in the run game, but what I'm disappointed with is the, the edge passing game that we gave up. Some of the quick screens, to me, that's a run. That's nothing different. They threw some bubbles and some quick screens. We didn't leverage the ball very well. We did not play the speed sweeps very well at all. This week's highlights presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Nothing better than a williams Bryce Stadium on homecoming and a gorgeous day for football in October. And for the first time this season, Coach, you don't win the toss. Yep. you got to go on defense. They and took the ball. Maybe everybody knows now why we're going offense first. So, uh, <laughs> But it was a great crowd. Our fans are awesome. Unbelievable environment to play in. It's great for our recruits to see that when they come to Williams-Brice and they see the positive support they get from our fan base. But Parker White kicked every one of them out of the end zone. Uh, they drove it down the field. Give them credit. They did a nice job of mixing some things up. And we've got a guy taking him to the flat. For some reason, he gets outside of him. So we've got something we've got to work on right there. We lost a the boot contained, but they did a nice job of switching things up on that drive, gave us some different looks, and we've got to adjust better to those things. Uh, really proud of the, the drive that we answered with here offensively. I mean, you see Jake Bentley right there uh, pulling the ball in the zone read. Uh, we've run him a little bit more than we have uh, in the, the early part of the season. People aren't accounting for him in the run game, but really pleased with the first play of the drive when we were able to hit Shot Smith down the middle. We come up on a big third and 10 stop. Jamarcus King does a really nice job. We're going to play contested coverage. We're going to be tight on him, and I thought he did a really good job right there of hooking the back of the receiver and getting the ball down, and they come back on a third and two. Again, Rashad Fenton's right in position to make the play, knocks the ball off of him, a critical third down stop for us. We've got to get more of those and string more together. We come back on offense here, and this is the counter play. Really nice job by Hayden Hurst and a really nice job by A.J. Turner. So proud of A.J and how he played in this game. His best football game as a Gamecock as far as statistics are concerned, but a guy that spills his guts every time out. Uh, they stopped us on the one goal line, and we've worked some on this, and got to credit uh, Coach Roper and Bobby Bentley. Of, uh, some people were submarining us on the, mm -hmm. the one yard line, and it was hard to get movement, so we got to go over the top there. So really proud of A.J. You went to the right guy there. A.J. got up in the air big time, and another touchdown for him. This is his second TD on the ground this season. He had a career high, as you mentioned, 121 yards on the ground. And, so Bentley with the run inside on the first catch. And hey, here's Coca-Cola uh, bottles that acknowledge our national championship no women. Be the best coach basketball on campus, team. Don Staley. There's no doubt about it. But huge interception here. I think Chris uh, you know, got a little early contact on the receiver and really, some really nice blocks. And we ought to put Scott Lynn run the ball a little bit. He looks good right here. <laughs> I'm not sure he there's got, nothing he got, again, dude. He got caught by a tight end, so we're gonna give him a hard time tomorrow on that. But uh, really, you know, again, that was a, a called back play, tough deal right there, but uh, that what, is what it is. Uh, they come back here, really nice job right here of Rashad Fenton knocking the ball down. Uh, they had the over out coming on seven man protection. It's hard to get there, so we got to cover them a little longer. Uh, really nice job of knocking the ball away. Uh, here we are in a situation, and this is just red zone coverage. It's third and seven, we got a max pressure on, we got a free runner at the quarterback. You got to play inside out, you got to bang the guy to one and a half to two yard line so he doesn't get in the end zone. A really nice job by DJ Warren. Good design by Coleman Hutzler, our special teams coordinator. And DJ's been close all year and finally got him one right here. I think Javon got one against Missouri. Uh, but we, we spend a bunch of time on field goal PAT block, and we, we've been very productive. And th those points are critical as you move forward in the season. Critical third and five right here, and this is Jake being Jake. Uh, extending the play, AJ goes up and makes a play. We get a late hit on the quarterback in a targeting situation here. and. Uh, you know, again, that's some guys making plays right there. That's guys off rhythm, uh, creating a play, A.J. keeping the play alive and making a heck of a play. And then Jake took the, took the hit right there to get us another 15 yards. Uh, we come back right here, and this is Shy Smith, man. The guy's a really good football player. we got to continue to find ways to get him the ball. This is a typical RPO that we run. we got a bad run box and a one-on-one -on -one matchup outside, and that guy couldn't cover Shy. That was a career high for him today as well. Five catches, 76 yards 
and that gorgeous touchdown. He looks like he's just taking the dog out or something, the way he runs so smooth down the middle of the field. He glides. And this is a, an overthrow right here. Steven Montak in nice position. We're in middle field coverage right there. Really nice job in our underneath coverage. He floated some balls, especially in the middle of the field, and, and we were able to make that one count right there. And Steven's been around the ball a lot. That's something he was really – does a nice job of right there. You see the ball being elevated. Sky Moore's got nice underneath coverage, elevates the ball. Steven finishes on the ball. We've got to work on his running back ability right there. <laughs> That's the first of his career, and Parker White comes on, attempt the field goal, and gets it. Well, and he missed the 47-yarder, but it was a good miss. It was a great swing. He hit the ball well, and a guy that we've got a lot of confidence in, and his confidence is growing as well. They run the zone cut inside, and a really nice play right there. Uh, you see uh, Kier Thomas. Uh, coming in there and, and then making a, a heck of a play on the zone cut and a negative yardage play, which we didn't have enough of those in this ball game to put them behind in the down and distance. And then we come back offensively right here in a critical third and nine situation. And, you know, Jake Bentley to Brian Edwards is something the Gamecock fans hear a lot. It's good. That means good things are happening. And you know, Brian goes up and gets the football. He's a, a very difficult guy to cover because of how big he is. It's hard to cover. Uh, first and 10 situation, we're coming in the third quarter. This is a 50-50 ball. We got all the momentum in the game, and Rashad gets on his heels a little bit. Uh, but give Lipscomb their receiver credit. He made the play on the ball. We didn't. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it was a great answer by our offensive football team. We answer, we come right back down the field, and then we take Jake again on the zone read, and we seal the edge right there with Hayden Hurst. And a uh, uh, heck of a, a, a drive by our offense, well called by Coach Roper and our offensive staff to answer right there. We get another answer right here uh, on a 39-yard field goal to make this thing a 14-point game. And uh, we've got to make some stops defensively. Disappointed that we didn't, didn't get the stop here defensively coming, coming back. Hayden Hurst, by the way, he had three catches on the day, but all your tight ends, Coach, you're going to see block very well. There no doubt. We, we held the edge as well. We, we did a nice job of protecting Jake. We did not, you know, they didn't handle the bunch route very well right there, but here you got a slant coming in there. Jamarcus King's got great coverage. We're in a one, uh, one high defense with uh, Sky Moore being the rat defender. It's contested play. Uh, really proud of our offense of taking a 118 back on the clock and taking the, 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 the game out of, out of reach right there and eating all the time. The Gamecocks able to take a knee and Will Muschamp gets his sixth win of the season. Gets bowl eligible for the second year in a row. That's a ninth straight win over the Vanderbilt Commodores and felt good on homecoming. It's great to have everybody back at williams Price Stadium. Much more to come. Stay with us on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. TD Bank, America's most convenient bank, is partnering with the Free Medical Clinic to help make a difference together. This year, every time South Carolina scores a touchdown, TD Bank will make a contribution to the Free Medical Clinic to assist with their mission of providing high quality health care and medications to vulnerable residents of the community without insurance or other coverage. So, as you pull for the Gamecocks to score another touchdown, remember that TD Bank is working to make a difference in South Carolina. I got a curb violation, B-13 in pursuit. Uh-oh, honey, hurry. Pardon me, ma'am. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir, hit the left gate! Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me, pardon me. Excuse me. Nice work. The 2017 Toyota RAV4. Lease a new 2017 RAV4 XLE for just $209 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this football season. Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to be the Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise signed by Gamecock head coach Will Muschamp. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Under pressure, Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dives, he makes the catch, and the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 national champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. Posting hashtag yeehaw. Hashtag I have no signal and I still can't post out here. Whoa, look out, coming through. Hey, Thomas. Howdy there, Joy. 
See, Joyce got the new iPhone with Verizon Unlimited. You bet I do. Best phone, best network. America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. She can post out here like she does in the city. Hey, 12 likes. What? Likes won't get you diddly around these parts. Yeah! No, you're going the wrong way. When you really, Ooh. really want the best, switch to Verizon Unlimited and get up to $300 off the new iPhone. Gamecock Film Sessions are brought to you by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Hello and welcome back into Carolina Football with Will Muschamp. We're into the film session where Coach Muschamp breaks down what he's looking for in Carolina football in the film room. This is a good situation where we showed a good too high look right here. So pre-snap read for the quarterback. He's thinking I've got two high safeties. I've got an apex defender, which generally when you don't cover down on the slot, they're thinking it's a split safety coverage. So this is a great job by Tavares Robinson, and our defensive staff, of showing a good pre-snap look of thinking it's going to be a too high. As the quarterback gets the ball now, he sees the corners off, so automatically he feels like he's got the out. Because you know, he pre-snap again was a too deep look, corner is off, so I'm, he knows he's got the out. So without seeing Jam Williams, he's working the out right now. Great break on the ball right here. So this is a, goes into a pre-snap disguise. Really nice job by our defensive staff and our players, and a really good job of just rolling into the coverage right there. Drew Locke thinks he's got the out because the corner's off and soft and we roll into it. So this goes back to a really good design by our defensive staff and really good execution by our players. Really good pass rush. We're working the, the stun inside with both Dennis and, and Kier Thomas and really pushing the pocket on the quarterback and an outstanding finish by Jam. That's film session with Will Muschamp. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp right after this. Now at Buy Low, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Buy Low and pick up all of your game day essentials. Buy Low, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. I got a curb violation, B-13 in pursuit. Uh-oh, honey, hurry. Pardon me, ma'am. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir, hit the left gate. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me, pardon me. Nice work. The 2017 Toyota RAV4. Lease a new 2017 RAV4 XLE for just $209 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. Okay, it's time to belly up to the bar because it's the last call to save big on 2017 Ford F-Series. Cash in on the truck that hauls the most and has more efficiency at the pump with an EcoBoost engine and a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body. Time to get in on America's best-selling trucks 40 years running. Because you snooze, you lose, pal. Get 10,837 total savings on a 2017 F-150. Plus, first responders get an additional 1,000 at your Carolina Ford dealer. We just got to take it one game at a time. Next question. Can you repeat everything you just said? My live stream won't load. Technical foul. Wrong sport. Wrong network. You see, you need unlimited on Verizon. It's America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. They won't let you down in places like this, even in the strike zone. It's the red zone. Pretty sure it's the strike zone. Here, use mine. All right, see you on the court, champ. Heads up. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Plans now start at $40 per line for four lines. Are you ready for Carolina football? The Commodores and the Gamecocks. Added at Williams Price Stadium. It's homecoming at the University of South Carolina, and we welcome back all who love the Garnet and Black. Slot. Williams in the backfield. They will run. No, just Jake Penley right side of the face. Puts inside the 10 to 5. Touchdown. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Jake Penley from 19 yards out.
All right, first and goal at the one. They'll go back to 25. Leaping over the top. A.J. Turner. Just snap it back to him. Put it down. Open. Shaw gets it blocked. And Carolina's got the football. Shaw's got it. He dove for it. Pulled it away. D.J. Wadham comes in there. Bentley takes a quick look over. Let's see what he does. He fakes it. He goes fade route at the 15. He caught the 10. Shy Smith into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Carolina in a four-man front. They'll play zone. Sherbert throwing down the middle. Into coverage and picked off. championship season now on the count of three open your boxes to reveal your championship rings one two three first and ten for carolina they're just outside the 10 yard line bentley's gonna run himself left side got a block from hurst and he's got the end zone touchdown carolina touchdown jake bentley from 11 yards out Victory formation for Carolina. Carolina's going to get their sixth win of the season, making them bowl eligible. Palmetto Pride is South Carolina's anti-litter and beautification organization, and they've teamed up with the Gamecocks for a litter-free game day in and around williams Bryce State. Prior to each home game, one group of fans will be chosen as our Palmetto Pride tailgaters of the game for keeping their tailgate spot litter-free. Tweet your tailgate location to us using the hashtag LitterFreeSC and you can score a great prize pack for your tailgate. Good hard work has earned Tiara Duffy the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the softball team, Duffy is a senior public health major with a 3.902 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Bentley takes a quick look over, let's see what he does. He fakes it, he goes fade route. At the 15, he caught the 10. Shy Smith into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Shy Smith from 36 yards out. Shy wide open, soft hands again, and walks into the end zone. Tarpley, the safety, trying to cover him. But you're right, Tommy. Fade from the inside slot. And Bentley perfect on that one. He's got the Gamecocks up. 21-13 with 5.28 to go. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Shy Smith, one of your other freshman wide receivers. A 36-yard touchdown catch from Jake Bentley. Uh, Ortre, another good night tonight. you got to be proud of these guys, including Shy. Well, Brian McClendon, our receiver coach, does a great job of getting these guys ready to play. And he has the last two years. Uh, but Shy's a guy, we got to get the ball more to him. And, and, and Rope's trying as many times as he can to get him the ball. It's a typical RPO. Jake does a nice job on the read. He knows he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Shy beats the guy in one-on-one. -on -one. Congratulations, Shy. Now our Terminex Pest player of the game, Coach and A.J. Turner. I think he had some 80 yards against Tennessee and comes back tonight career high. Tough plays up and down the line. Well, the guy spills his guts every time out. He plays extremely hard. What I'm as most proud of is when you watch him on special teams and you see him covering kicks and you see him returning kicks and doing all the things he does for our football team. And now because of Rico's injury, he's getting more touches, more opportunities. We're, we're calling more runs without the RPOs on him to put the ball in our running back's hands. And uh, so I got to credit our offensive staff there, but AJ runs extremely hard, extremely proud of him. 195 pounds, but he gives it all. Congratulations, he's our Terminex Pest player of the game. Now it's time to hear from Mike Carolina. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build. Even if challenging times get in their way, when you need us most, we're there and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. 
We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. I got a curb violation, B-13 in pursuit. Uh-oh, honey, hurry. Pardon me, ma'am. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Hit the left gate. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me, pardon me. Excuse me. Nice work. Oh. The 2017 Toyota RAV4. Lease a new 2017 RAV4 XLE for just $209 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this football season. Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to be the Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise signed by Gamecock head coach Will Muschamp. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back in to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Coach, we go to a place in Athens, Georgia, you're pretty familiar with. Do you get a pass, by the way, anytime they give us seven points, ten points when no. you go down there if you're a former player? No, they're not that nice over there. The Bulldogs are very good. They're 8-0 and right now in conference play. They ate up the Florida Gators this uh, past weekend. What do you see from Kirby Smart and what they've done with this team? Well, in any open week, we always try to look ahead, and obviously we looked at it on all of our opponents, not just Georgia, but uh, you see some elite backs. You know, we talk in terms of Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle and the Swift kid from uh, Philadelphia. Uh, their offensive line's improved tremendously from a year ago. They got good skill outside, and really defensively, it's the same th guys from the last three or four years. You know, when you talk in terms of Carter and Bellamy and Thompson and Roquan Smith and Sanders and Parrish, they've been starting for three years. Right. So it's a veteran defense that we're going to need to play extremely well. A lot of the big challenges. A 3:30 kickoff for the Gamecocks against the Georgia Bulldogs. Carolina's still in it in the East, Coach. That's a great thing for you to be able to go in there and tell your football team you're bowl eligible now but listen we got a lot to play for still no there's no doubt and our players understand that and our players understand this is a big game and a game that we need to win happy homecoming everybody congratulations to the Gamecocks coach Muschamp and the Garnet and Black you get the win over Vanderbilt six and two on the season we'll see you next time on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp